Hi, this is Muhammad Sadiq. In this session, we'll learn about how do we write a simple select statement using the SQL. Okay, the objective of this particular learning is how do we start writing the select query? How do you start fetching the data from the database tables? And then we will also look into uh, what you say, how do you use a calculated columns? How do we filter only some selected columns? And also we'll look into this particular concept of uh, alias names, okay? And how do we eliminate the duplicate values? If there is a duplicate records, I want to show it uniquely. So how do we display that? So that is what we will learn in this particular session. Okay, let us start off. So select statement. So the select statement is something which is a very commonly used query in your SQL as a day, a role of a data analyst as you can see is because you know, uh, you'd be having with a lot of data in the database tables. So, and we always have to keep fetching the data. So I want to see this particular data from the different tables. Okay, from the, based on the different dimensions, based on the different criteria, the conditions. Okay, so we always want to fetch the data. So to fetch the data, so in SQL, we write a select statements to fetch the data. So, and you know, the select statements has a standard structure. So, which is always a select statement starts with the keyword as select. That is followed with the list of columns. So, what do you need to mention? If you want to get all the columns, we can use a color star. But if you want to go with the selected columns, we specify the column names. And that will be followed with the from and the table name. So, that is select the column names from the table name. So, this is the basic select statements. So, what we write. Apart from this, so we can also use the various other clauses like where clause, the uh, group by clause, the having clause, and order by. So those are optional clauses. Okay. So that is used for the various types of filtering, grouping, and sorting the data. So we use those particular clauses. So in today's session, how do we write a select? How do we go with the column names from the table name? So how do we filter the columns? How do we use some kind of expressions in the columns? And how do you remove the duplicates? That is what we will see in this session. So now first thing is, so to start off with the select statement, so I said is one of the very commonly used query in your, uh, what is say SQL is select. Now, suppose if you want to get all the columns, that means the complete data, all the rows and all the columns from the table. So in that case, our query will go something like this. Select star from table name, where select and from is a keyword. Star is representing all the columns of the table and the table name is specifying from which table you want to get this particular data. Okay, so on that basis, we write this particular command. So now uh, the example is, so example, we have an EMP table and I want to get complete data from the EMP table. So we are telling select star from, okay. Let us see it practically. So I have my management studio since I'm using a Microsoft SQL server. And here uh, I have an HR database that is human resource database. So in this particular database, when you see here, so I have this particular, what you say, the employees table. Where in the employees table, we have the info details like employee ID, first name, last name, email, phone number, all the personal details of the employees plus salary details and which department he or she is working. Now, what I want is I want to see this particular data using a SQL query. So my query will go like this. So first we start with the keyword as select. Okay. Then what columns you want? I want all the columns. Instead of memorizing what are the column names are there, so I can just say star followed with the from, and the from will be followed with the table name. So that is select the column list. Star is all the columns from the employees table. Okay. So employees table. That's it. So when I run this query, so you can see, so it is getting me the complete all the employee details. Fine. Now, I, see, we have all the details here. Now, what I want is, I just want to get only some important information. Like, I want to get the employee ID, the last name, okay, and what is the salary he's, he or she is getting. So, I don't want to see the other details, like, what is his phone number, higher date, email. I say, no, as of now, I don't want those things. I just want only some selected columns from the table. Okay, only some selected columns. I'm filtering the data vertically few columns. So if you want to get a few columns, so what is that we do is instead of writing the star 
okay in the case of previous this one we use the star to get all the columns so if you want to get only the selected columns just mention the columns with the comma separator just mention the column names with the comma separator this will just get me only the columns that is needed for us okay fine so this is how we do this so the example is in the emp table i want to get the name and the salary fine here i do so we'll try the same thing here now i want to get the data like um so if you want to get only some selected columns i just say select star from the employees table so star is going to get me everything i say no i just want to get the employee id okay and i also want to get only the last name fine good and i want to know what is the salary good. so i'll just select the columns that i wanted to use it so when i run this particular query so you can see it is showing that only the columns what you have mentioned over here. So I have mentioned employee ID, last name and salary. And accordingly, you can see here. So we are getting this employee ID, the last name and the salary column. So only that column that you have mentioned, we are able to get it. Okay, fine. So the next thing is, how do we add a constant in a query? A constant is like what? Uh, with the columns, you want to add an additional values to that, a literal values to that. So let us see how do we do that. Now, let us take an example here. We have a first name and the last name. So in the employees table, so I just have this particular first name and the last name here. So now what I want to do is I want to concatenate first name, last name together. And I want to show as one name. That is a full name of the employee. So what will I do? I'll say I want to get the employee ID. Okay. And I want to join the first name and last name. So I can just say first name, comma. So each column has to be separated with the comma. First name, and then I want to combine this. I can use a plus sign, and I can just say last name. Get me this. Okay. So when I run this particular query, so instead of showing as first name and last name as separate, you can see it has been merged and it has been shown. Okay. Stephen King, Nina Kocher, Lex Dehan. Okay, Alexander Honan. See, now one more thing is we have a first name and last name. Both are being just okay combined together. Now, what I want is between the first name and last name, I want to have a space. Okay, now the space is a literal character, what I want to add. So, if I have to do that, you can just put a plus sign, open the single quote, give a space, close the single quote. That's it. Okay, so here what it is going to do, it takes the first name that will be concatenated with the space. And further, it will be concatenated with the last name, okay, from the employees table. So you can see this thing. Yeah, Stephen King, Nina Kocher, okay, Alexander Honor, two sons. So between the first name and last name, so, so this is the, what you call it as, uh, literal character or adding a constant within your query where it is repeated for every row, okay, between the first name and last name. So we are using a plus sign for concatenating and adding this little character within the single quotes it has been added fine the next thing is yeah you want to use alias name what is an alias name alias name is another name okay or you want to have a simply name or a simply i can say easy name or a short name or something we say <laughs> now when you look into this uh, we have this particular expression first name with a space and the last name and you can see that the heading for this is no column name. There is no name defined because this is not a direct column of a table. It is the column which is based on this particular expression, which is the combination of first name plus last name and a space together. Okay, it's a combination of that. So it says there is no column name over here. It has not been defined. Okay, so in this kind of a scenario, so what is that we do is... I want to give a name. So I say this is nothing but a full name. Okay, let me write this thing. Okay, so if I have to do this, so what I do, I just say as, and you can say full name. That's it. And uh, you can see full name is the heading. So that means as is used for specifying the alias name. Okay, so this expressions, you want to give a name for it. So I say as represent this as a full name. Okay. Uh, 
as is optional if you're not giving still it is fine but at least a space is needed that to say that you know this is the another name what we are giving for this particular expression this is the expression for this we are giving the name as full name okay uh, suppose like you know i want to say full space name so space is to say that is alias name and in the name you have a full and space and name so this is not considered you can see so it is throwing me an error because you cannot have two alias name so now i want to say no i want to display as it is user within the single quotes so that means if you're using any kind of reserved words or if you're using a special character or if you're using a space okay enclose those things within the quotes okay when you're giving the alias name so it'll display as it is as a full space name okay so this is how we give the alias name so alias name is just for any column you want to have an, another name so we use this okay like say example we have the employees table so we have a salary so instead of displaying a salary i want to say wages or i just want to say as sal salary. so in the column at database table it is salary but i want to display the sal salary so it is displayed as it is okay so this is the uh, alias name is another name for the column okay the next thing is i want to use some kind of expressions expression is the calculations like say example how do we get a ca computed values or we say it's a calculated values how do we do that now we here when you see we have the employee name salary into 12 as annual salary okay so in the database table i have a sal column Okay, that is the monthly salary. But when I'm displaying the query output, I want to display as an annual salary. Okay, so I want to store the annual salary and monthly salary is there, but annual salary is nothing but monthly into 12. Whatever the monthly salary is there, into 12 is the annual salary. So we are writing a query like this. We are writing a calculation here, salary into 12 as what is the name that you want to display. Okay, so we can just do that. employees table cool. now in this table i just want to get the employee id uh, i'll just take the first name okay and i just want to display the salary so this will just show me as it is whatever the salary it is just going to show me that particular thing yes but i want to show the annual salary okay so if i have to show the annual salary we just say into 12 so now this is an expression salary into 12. So an employee is getting 24,000. So 24,000 into 12. So you'll get almost like, you know, nearing to 3 lakhs. So 2 lakhs something, is it? Yeah, 2 lakhs 88,000. Okay. So you can see 2 lakhs 4,000, 2 lakhs 1 lakh 14,000. This is the annual salary, what it is. Now you can see since it's a calculated column, again, there's no column name. So you want to give alias name here. So you can just say as annual salary. I want to use the two words I'm using the single code okay and as is to say that is the alias name so when I run this one you can see it says the annual salary is this okay so this is how we use an expression or we call it as a calculated columns okay the next thing is how do we eliminate the duplicate rows from the table okay so if you want to eliminate the duplicate records, uh, sorry, duplicate values, so in that case, what do you do? Just before the column name, we use a distinct keyword. Okay. Example is, see, in the employees table, we have a department number. We have many employees working for some few departments. Now, I want to know what are the few departments for which the employee is working. Okay. Uh, like this thing. Um uh, employees table so when i go to this particular employees table here so we have employees working for department 9 we have many employees working for department 6 10 okay 3 5 and so on i just want to know for which of the different departments we have employees working that's it okay so in that case what i do see if i mention as department id okay if i mention as department id it will not show the other columns but it will show only this column Okay, it will show me only this particular column, so excluding the other columns. But you know, this repeated information will show repeatedly. This repeated, it has to show this as 9, this is 6, this is 10. So it has to show only one time. It should not show repeatedly. So in that case, that is where exactly we use a distinct keyword. 
Okay, so how do we do that? So I say department ID. So when I use a department ID here, so what happens, this will remove the other columns, but it will show the department ID. But you can see it has been repeated. This repeated value, I just want to show only once. What I do just before the column name, we prefix with a keyword called as a distinct. Okay, that's it. Okay. So this is how we use this particular distinct is mainly used to eliminate the duplicate records from the table. Yeah, so we have around 40 different employees. They are working for around 11 different departments. So this is the department for which we have employees working for. Okay, what are the department names that we need to create a relationship that we will be seeing in the upcoming session? Okay, yeah. Fine, uh, this is about your select statements. Uh, next is, uh, okay, this is about your select statements. So next is we'll be learning about the where clause, which we'll see in the next video. Okay, thank you.